Ji Bashi said, if a painting has too much likeness to the subject, then it is pandering to the taste of the vulgar. But if it lacks too much likeness, it cheats the viewer of the familiar and le lessen the meaning of the object. In India, there is a saying, anything too much is poison. Yavadu jasi adre amurdu kudivashagati. That is, even amurdu will turn into poison if it is too much. The painting has too much likeness to the subject. If the husband has got too much likeness to the wife, and the wife has got too much likeness to the husband, familiarity breeds contempt, then only poison flows. Anything too much. It's bad for the body, for the mind, for the soul, for anybody. Because too much was not needed. said stop acting so small and you have been taught you are small don't think you are big that continuous bombardment of telling I am poor I am poor I am poor you are poor so even the rich started telling I am poor it means I will act small I can't act my totality they say before you go to sleep your last drop of talent should be removed. They say, before you boil the milk in the vessel, the last drop of stain should be removed from the vessel. Otherwise, the milk will get spoiled. That's why they brought in stainless steel. So in your body, what power you have, if you remove the last drop, then you can find when you don't remove the last drop, you become so small. It is non-stop telling you, you are poor, but they forgot you are pure, P-U-R-E, in that to get that purity, you have to remove the last drop. That they stopped you from removing your last drop, making you constipated and made you sit with a bum on a chair. Like a commode, toilet commode. You sit in the toilet commode from morning till evening. The bum starts stinking. You get a very dirty bum. The knees start stagnating. The body starts stagnating because even your tea comes into your tape. Ready-made food comes from Swiggy and Kiki and everywhere. They made you a nobody. <laughs> cannot believe in God until you believe in yourself, said Swami Vivekananda. That means the whole world master kept on telling that look into the knock on the doors and you open, ask who am I? The wake arrives, stop not till the goal is reached, get up, stand up. All these are connecting with them. People taught all those, of course, slokas, songs. Indirect languages never worked out. It should be a direct language. Students are not allowed to enter the house. They will enter the house with the books called homework. University children are not allowed to enter the house because they will enter the house with a laptop because they have to do a lot of homework, a lot of projects. They have destroyed you. You cannot believe in God. That means you cannot believe. You cannot even feel, smell, taste, touch, and see. 
And when you go to the gymnasium, you forget to take the spade and the pickaxe. When you climb the coconut tree and the hurricane tree, you can see you have a beautiful six pack. At the same time, you are in touch with your nature. You grow your own materials right in the house. You clean your house. You wash your clothes with your own hand. You don't use washing machine. You grind your own chili powder and all other things. And you feel there's a lot of power when you grind your rice, boom, 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 and you roll it like this. Your body is just skeletal muscle and no fat at all. You cannot believe in God. <laughs>
that this is enough. It is not about the numbers. It's that it be a way of life that you sleep and you get up in the morning, you continue to do your work. Adi Shankaracharya said, sickness is not cured by saying medicine, but by drinking it. When Shankaracharya said by drinking it, people thought for sickness you have to drink medicine. No, he said when you become weak, like the martial artist says when they fall sick, they go and practice three times more than the normal time. They sweat it out and the sickness is gone. When you become weak, a foreign matter must have entered your body. When you become weak, you understood that cleanliness is next to godliness. So when you have to drink, it means you have to drink your weakness. Means you have to use the same thorn to remove another thorn. Ram Krishna Paramahamsa said, women are all of them the veritable images of Shakti. Let us look into that. Even in Islam, Prophet Muhammad also talked about the women, how they should be taken care of, how they should be loved. Who has not spoken? Krishna kept on talking about women. And where did we go wrong? The wrong was a family which sits together, eats together, prays together, grows together, goes the saying, but they never said that family should sit, the husband should sit with the wife, not inside the house, but go for a walk. Kaisan. They should have, the boy and the girl should discuss what is to be done today and for tomorrow every day they make one pledge one improvement in their life and then of course they can make love balance hold this one discussion has not taken place hence in every family whatever the avatars have spoken ramakrishna parmams krishna Prophet Muhammad, Jesus Christ, nothing were able to be implemented. I told my kids, please go for a walk. Discuss what can be done for tomorrow. And every Sunday you discuss for the week. And then look what this one week, what pledge we have taken, whether we have shown any improvement, save and then spend on the economic front too, on the physical front too, on the love's front too, on the connecting link where the girl married the boy, the boy has introduced almost every day one of his family member, it becomes friend or family member becomes 365, 365 people is 365 crores of rupees wealth. Narayana Guru said, act that one performs for own sake should also aim for the well-being of others. Gandhi went and visited Narayana Guru in Shivagiri and they had a vast discussions about how to sort out these problems and then equality prevailed and I hope this equality continues with the hard labor in your own land to grow more vegetables, more fruits. Otherwise, you said here there is no equality and most of the people 
have left Kerala to the Middle East to other countries to work as slaves under somebody. And then they bring that money, build huge, huge buildings, and then stand in front of the liquor shop in big, big queues. That liquor shop should be your land. When you work very hard in your land, when you sweat it out, when the sweat, the the taste of the salt enters your mouth, you feel invigorated. That should be your liquor. That hard labor should be your liquor. Otherwise, not only really the state is lost, you are lost. You are already lost because in fighting, upper caste, lower caste, from where the mentality came, will it not come again? The people who have got an opportunity to go and work as slaves in other countries, especially in the Middle East, and they come back and build huge, huge buildings. Again, they, the rich and the poor division will start coming. And then you find out there's no work back. You cannot work because you suddenly started behaving like a new Britishers, as if you came from abroad. Everybody should touch your feet and they should respect you. So you do not want to work on the field. You build a huge, big building, put the money in the bank on the interest you keep living. No, no, no. That is not the way you should show your children the path. <laughs>